All right, so in this project, we're basically going to uh, step it up a notch in terms of uh, advanced PHP. Um, basically, this is a, sim a relatively simple forum application, um, written in PHP, of course. Um, and basically, a user can come to the site and create an account. All right, so we're going to have full registration functionality. All right, they can enter all their details, a username, a password, and they can upload their own avatar and also a little about me blurb. Okay, so they can register. Um, we're not going to get into um, email confirmations or anything like that. Um, that would just take way too long. So once they create an account, they can then log in. So let me just give you an example. Okay, so they can log in, you get a little message, um, log out button appears, and now we can create a topic. Uh, but first, let's take a look at the actual topics. Now, when I say topic or post, I'm meaning the same thing. All right, so basically, uh, a topic and a post are the same thing. All right, so here's an example. Uh, we have the title up at the top, and this is the, the, the initial post or topic. Uh, and then underneath people can reply to it all right so there's a little reply form and this only shows if the user is logged in all right and then we have on the side an, a user avatar the number of posts that they have on the site and posts refers to topics and replies all right uh, and then there's a link where you can actually view the topics that that particular user has posted all right and you can see we have the number of replies here uh, we even customize it so that the, the title has the user's name in it. And you can also narrow topics down by category. So if I click over here in development, it's going to give us all the posts in the development category. Design, I don't have any posts in there yet, uh, but if I did, they would all show right here. All right, so they could create a topic. So basically, a topic has a title, a body, category. Um, and that's pretty much it. In the database, we're also going to have um, uh, a create date for when the topic was created. Uh, it will also include the user's ID, the category ID, things like that as well. All right. So our table, uh, our database will basically have four tables, um, which are topics, replies, users, and um, topics, replies, users, and categories. All right. So that's going to be the structure of our database and we also have some statistics down here which gives us the total number of users topics and categories um, but the main thing about this project is we're really going to shift to an object oriented style uh, of programming in the past couple projects um, we used a little bit we used a database class in the last one um, but now we're going to have a database wrapper class um, we're going to have a topics class, a user class, um, and I think that maybe one more. Um, so we're really going to get into object oriented programming. And we're also going to get into templates. That's it, template class. We're going to have a template class that will allow us to uh, assign templates to pages on the fly. All right. Um, so it's going to be much, much better. Uh, organization than our last few projects. The last few projects I just wanted to kind of get the basics, um, get you started on the basics and now we'll we'll get more advanced. Alright so we can get started and like all of my projects I like to start with the user interface and this is actually a customized bootstrap template. So we're actually going to build this um, We'll, we'll go grab Bootstrap and make a, well, actually quite a few adjustments, um, especially with the colors and, and stuff like that. So let's begin with creating our project folder. Okay, so I'm in my htdocs folder, my xamp or xamp server, and we have our folder called talking space, which I'm going to rename to talking space done, and then we'll create our folder
and talking space is just something that I just thought of real quick um, the name isn't that important of course you can change it if you want alright so let's create our structure we're gonna have a much bigger structure than the past few projects alright so let's start with our folders alright so we're gonna have a config folder which is nothing new um, and we can actually create the file we're just gonna have one file in here called config.php that'll hold our database parameters and things like that uh, the next folder is gonna be our core folder and that's also gonna have one file and this is gonna be our initializer so I'm gonna call this any.php alright and this is where we're gonna store our autoloader this is where we'll um, include files that we need to include um, we'll start our session in this file so that we can have sessions on every page things like that alright so we need our libraries of course and basically these are gonna be classes so let's actually create those alright so first we're gonna have a database class oh and I should have mentioned this earlier uh, we're gonna be using PDO okay so PDO stands for PHP data objects and it's a, a really good alternative to using the MySQLi um, API and it's we're gonna be using something called prepared statements where um, our queries are gonna be the values are, are basically gonna be set um, so it pre prevents us from uh, SQL injection things like that and I would suggest that you read more about PDO uh, let's, let's see php.net alright so I suggest um, looking through here uh, it gives you basically all of the the methods in the API um, transactions alright so uh, we can use transactions to uh, store objects in the database and let's see just want to find kind of an, an example doesn't look like there doesn't look like there's too many good examples here let's search PDO simple examples and with the with the PDO with our database class I'm not gonna type it all out by hand because it's much too big so I'll basically paste it in and we'll just go over the the methods inside of the class um, let's see alright so basically we're gonna have our credentials um, like we did in our MySQLi um, projects and then we're gonna create a new PDO instance and we're gonna pass in our credentials um, and we'll use a try and catch block uh, to connect so basically we'll try to connect and if something goes wrong we can actually in the catch block we can specify uh, the message that uh, but basically whatever happens um, let's see I can't really I want to give you an example of prepared statements alright so here's a good example so we're going to create a query all right we'll put it in a variable I usually call it query not SQL but whatever um, so we're going to select whatever certain columns from a table and then we're going to say where in this example calories is is less than calories now you can see this uh, this colon here this is where prepared statements come in um, we don't we don't put the the parameters directly into the query uh, like we've been doing we put this basically a placeholder and then we have to prepare the statement alright we're not going to do this by hand it's going to be part of our, our PDO class 
but just to give you an idea of how it works. So we'll prepare the statement and then we'll execute the statement. All right. And basically here is where you define the values. Okay. So 150 for cat for the calories placer, um, red for this color placer. All right. So you can see that it, it prevents SQL injections because a user can't enter the values directly into the query. It's prepared. All right. And then finally we can call, this fetch all, which will just basically um, get whatever our query is asking for. All right, and we use a statement handler uh, when doing executions. Um, STH is what's what's usually used, but you can use whatever you want. Um, let's see. This is an example with question mark parameters. Um, basically, you use the question mark instead of the placer up here. Um, I prefer this example one. Uh, so that's basically it. Like I said, we're not going to really, we're not going to type out the PDO class by hand. Uh, I'm going to paste it in and we can just go over the methods. All right. So I think I rambled on a little too long about that. I'm sorry. Uh, so let's go ahead and cr continue creating our folder structure. Uh, actually, we don't need a folder. We need a file. Okay, so next we're going to have our template class. And that's it's going to be um, fairly small. Basically, it's just going to, we're going to um, easily include our files. Okay, we're also going to have uh, includes folder with our header and footer that we can insert on every page. So we don't have to keep typing that stuff out. All right, um, let's see. We, we want to have a topic class. All right, and the topic class, the user class, um, basically we're going to use our database class as kind of a wrapper um, because we obviously we want to do database functions inside of these classes. All right, so next we'll have our user class. And the last class I want to have is a validator class. Basically, that's just going to be um, so we can validate input. Okay, so for instance, um, when we have the registration form, uh, we want to make sure that we have required fields like name, username, password. We don't want the, the user to be able to submit empty forms. Uh, we want to make sure that the two password fields match. We want to check the email, things like that. And if you're if you're um, really familiar with um, object-oriented programming and you've used validation classes, then you're going to find that this is a an extremely simple um, class. All right, I'm not going to get advanced. Basically, you're just going to check those three things that I just said. Um, so uh, the next folder we need is helpers. Okay, now helpers are just that; they're helper functions. They're not going to be classes or anything like that. They're just um, standalone functions that can aid in different things. All right, so we're going to have three of these classes. I'm sorry, three of these um, helpers. All right, so the first one's going to be a DB helper. Basically, database operations that we want to just uh, create, that we want to run on the fly, uh, especially in templates. If you're in like, if you have a for each loop and you want to say change an ID to a name, uh, then you would use the, the DB helper. All right, so the next one is going to be format helper. All right, and that is going to have things like date format, so we can have a, a nice looking date, um, things like that. And then the final helper is going to be our system helper. And this um, we'll use for things like redirects. Um, I'm going to use this to check and see if a user is logged in. So we can use that easily inside of the templates, um, things like that. All right, so next we're just going to have our images folder. And this will hold um, site images. It will also hold things like the user avatars.
and actually inside images I want to create a folder called avatars. Alright, so next um, the final folder we need is templates. Alright, and basically uh, you can also think of this as a views folder with different views. Alright, so we'll have our CSS folder. We're going to have an includes folder. Alright, and includes is going to have a header file. as well as a footer file. Alright, so that's all we need there. Um, now for the templates, or the views, we're going to have a front page view, okay, which will just basically be the posts that show on the, on the home page. Um, topics, for the list of topics page, we want to have topic singular for when we visit a, a page that, that just has the topic. Uh, let's see, register, which will have our registration form, and create which will have our uh, create topic form. Okay, so those are our templates, um, and that's it for the folders. Now we get to include just the uh, core files themselves, the, the files that we interact with. All right, so uh, of course we need an index PHP. And we need a create.php. And these can, if you're familiar with uh, model view controller frameworks, um, these are going to work kind of like controllers. All right, so basically we're going to pass it off to um, our library, which is going to kind of act like a model where we deal with our database, things like that. And we're also going to load our templates from these files as well, or views. Okay, uh, we want topic we want topics um, login and login and log out are basically just going to be functionality files they're not going to have any kind of template or anything and register All right, and I think that's it. Yeah, that should be it for our application. You can see that the structure is a lot bigger than past projects, um, but I just wanted to really hit uh, hit on object-oriented programming. So next, we will create the user interface.